no. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it's like everything else. This is the quick answer it says. I should probably ask ChatGPT. Your body needs a small amount of sodium to work properly, but too much sodium can be bad for your health. Diets higher in sodium are associated with the increased risk of developing high blood pressure, which is a major cause of stroke and heart disease. You know, the problem with that is diets high in sodium, those people are probably overeating too. Scroll. Who is that source? FDA. Uh, FDA. You can't trust them. They're bought out by the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies. It's whores. Yeah, GPT, they are whores. <laughs> Do you know what's wild when you see? Um, have you ever seen like all, different people that were the head of the FDA and then where they go after they leave? Yeah, they're major corporations. It's see, always yeah. Pfizer, <laughs> yeah. Moderna. They go. They go straight to drug companies. Mm -hmm. That should be illegal. That seems insane. That mm. seems insane that you, you literally could be the regulatory body that helps these pharmaceutical drug companies and then join them <laughs> and get millions of dollars. Je my, my girlfriend just went to an allergy person where she had to get like a thousand shots and find out what she's allergic to. And she's allergic to everything. And they she doesn't have insurance. So they uh, and they, she, she went to the doctor and they were like, okay, we'll work with you not having insurance. And they finally prescribed her her pill and it was like $1,200 a pill or something like that. Like she, she went to go pick up her prescription and it was thousands of dollars and she had to do it like every two weeks to get it filled up. And like, how would you ever, like one pill is a thousand bucks. For allergies? Yes. I, I wish I knew what it was, but like. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, how would you expect anyone to pay for this? And you have these pills at HEB right now? <laughs> like, <it's> That's <laughs> what that Martin Scarelli guy, whatever his name was, that's what he got in trouble for, right? Jacking up the price. Yeah, of jacking up the, the price. price, yeah. So what's the, what's the story with the sodium? Uh, so I got an answer from ChatGPT. It basically started mm -hmm. off saying the same thing, but down here it gives you like a recommended. Okay. Sodium is an essential nutrient the body needs in small amounts to function properly. It helps maintain the balance of fluids in the body and supports nerve and muscle function and helps regulate blood pressure. However, con con consuming too much sodium can have negative health effects. The most common concern with consuming too much sodium is that it can increase blood pressure, which can lead to higher risk of heart disease and stroke. High sodium intake can also increase the risk of developing kidney issues and osteoporosis. Recommended daily intake of sodium varies depending on age, sex, and other factors, but in general, adults should aim to consume no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. It's not that much. Yeah, foods that are high in sodium include processed and packaged foods, fast food, salty snacks. See, that's my point. It's like all that stuff, like it's associated with it, but is it causal, right? Is that what's causing it? Because the thing about people with high sodium diets is that usually their diet is bullshit. They're just eating all kinds of crap. Mm -hmm. like, like if you have regular food, like healthy food, but you put salt on it, is that bad? Because I'm betting it's not that bad. I'm betting whatever the fuck is in the other stuff is what's getting you. You know, it's 